Let me start by asking you to reimagine the way you think about risk management. What if you could leverage years of lessons learned from other programs' risk management experience? What if you could know where critical cost and schedule risks are emerging before they become a problem? Or what if you could look at risk mitigation strategies and explore branches and sequels to see their impacts and interactions before deciding on what path to follow? Hello, I'm Eric Domaschek from Stotler Hanke Associates. I'm delighted to tell you about the work we've been doing for NAVAIR's Digital Transformation Initiative, aimed at improving how acquisition program management is managed. When a program office struggles to keep a program on track, when technical problems pop up, when planned tasks run long, when a key supplier cannot deliver with the required quantity or quality, or when components do not live up to their mean time to failure rate, or when costs start to escalate. PMs often have to scramble to ensure that warfighters get the capabilities they need. Today, I'm going to tell you about how our BOSS tool can help you keep your programs on track and how BOSS can help ensure our forces remain the best equipped in the world. To give you some background, Stotler Henke Associates is a nearly 35-year-old artificial intelligence and software engineering company. The technology that BOSS uses to help PMs identify, track, understand, and manage their program's risks is based on a combination of our decades of experience with varied AI technologies and our facility with modern software engineering tools and practices. We apply our technology expertise in a variety of solution areas, such as decision support, knowledge management, planning and scheduling, and others listed here. We work with experts from across the DOD, government, and industrial communities to solve a variety of problems with real operational and financial payoffs. For instance, our Aurora Intelligence Scheduling Toolkit, which is part of BOSS, has been a huge success in the aerospace community. It is in active use at companies like Boeing, Mitsubishi, Korean Aerospace, Bombardier, and others. It is also in use supporting the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force. Our intelligent tutoring and simulated agent solutions have been deployed to provide the benefits of one-on-one -on -one instruction to Navy tactical action officers, sonar operators, and anti-submarine helicopter operators. In fact, the OMIA helicopter cockpit part task trainer alone has saved the Navy tens of millions of dollars. We've been the recipient of numerous awards recognizing the quality of our innovative work and the important contributions we've made to organizations' mission success. Our work on BOSS is a response to a NAVAIR request for technology to help streamline business operations, to help acquisition programs run more smoothly and efficiently, to ensure the warfighters get the capabilities they need to succeed at their missions. NAVAIR was seeking systems that would reduce mistakes while increasing productivity, do a more efficient job of tracking cost, schedule, and performance, and generally automate routine tasks. They explicitly mentioned identifying risks and coping with them efficiently. Throughout our project, We've been working with recently retired Navy program managers, and they have helped us home in on the most serious problems facing PMs. The motivation for our work can be summarized by a lesson they learned from Vice Admiral Moran. Know your risks, and you know your program. Risks are the seeds of program failures. Untended, they'll produce a crop of cost overruns, schedule delays, and reduced capability. So the operational improvement BOSS aims to make is to help PMs identify risks more thoroughly, track risk status more proactively, understand risk impacts more deeply, and explore risk mitigations and issue responses more quickly, yet more thoroughly. We applied five technologies to this problem. First, we have analytics. That includes the Aurora scheduling engine that can analyze complex resource-bounded scheduling problems and beat leading tools in head-to-head -head competition by finding better schedules and tweaks to resource-constrained problems. It also includes techniques for extracting data from available sources as an aid to recognizing emerging schedule deviations early. Second, we have visualizations. As a company, we've built novel interactive planning tools that are deployed in systems such as the ANBYG-1 submarine combat system and the joint mission planning system. For BOSS, we're leveraging that background to make the range of typical schedule and risk visualizations more usefully interactive and integrated into an effective risk management workflow. Third, we have automation. BOSS can monitor identified program-relevant data flows on an ongoing basis. It can recognize when monitored conditions suggest need for action and generate notifications to relevant decision makers. It can run analyses to identify likely consequences of emerging risks, and it can explore a range of responses to those consequences to identify and suggest promising courses of action that will help keep a program on track. 
Fourth, all of the above are based on knowledge. BOSS includes a model of the standard DoD acquisition process that covers key tasks and their relationships plus resource types. It can build up a library of past programs, risk histories, and responses. We have techniques to exploit such libraries for decision-making support, for instance, to help managers brainstorm risks for a new program. Fifth, and finally, Stotler Hinkey delivers solid, modern software engineering. BOSS is built on top of Stotler Hinkey's team toolkit that leverages model-driven engineering to enable rapid construction and extension of cloud distributed systems. The result is great flexibility to tackle complex problems like program management quickly, stand up useful capability, and stay open to ongoing refinement and extension. All this ensures that BOSS remains an open tool suite ready to incorporate more knowledge, more analytics, more visualizations, and to provide more automation, growing in capability and keeping up with the needs of the PM community. The BOSS project is approaching the end of its phase two SIPR period. This month, April 2022, we will be running a small experimental trial with Northrop Grumman or NGC. We're using data that NGC has provided on one of their current programs and their staff will use BOSS to explore that program's risks. We are learning how BOSS could fit into NGC's toolscape and workflows. As our next step, we're currently seeking Navy program office participation in a more robust phase two plus pilot study of BOSS's use within a real Navy program. To that end, we want to connect with Sea Airspace attendees to discuss how BOSS can help you and your program. You can find me at booth 537, especially on Tuesday, April 5th, or you can email me at the address on my final slide. And feel free to spread the word of BOSS through the Navy acquisition community. Here is what BOSS offers to Navy and DOD PMs. First, as it helps manage risk registers across an organization's program, BOSS will collect experiences that are now undocumented, scattered, or lost. As that data accumulates, we can introduce risk brainstorming support, exploiting stotler Hinkey's longstanding expertise in case-based reasoning. A new program might benefit from the history of previous programs that ran into supply problems because of single sourcing from a foreign country or that hissed design or production problems on a tricky component. The result will be better coverage of a program's likely risks, that is, a better risk register, feeding into BOSS's better risk tracking processes. Second, BOSS can continually monitor designated data sources. For instance, detailed production progress reports that may have been suggested as new seed rules based on risk brainstorming. Automated data tracking will ensure emerging problems are detected early. Knowing, say, that production of a crystal radome has snagged other programs, a PM might set up a tighter progress monitoring regimen for BOSS to execute. The result of automated warning of dangerous trends will be that PMs will have more of that most precious commodity, time to maneuver. The earlier a PM knows about a problem, the more options and the less disruptive options they have to fix things. Third, with access to all risk-relevant data and with informative visualizations, BOSS is a tremendous resource for supporting risk management practices. When it comes to Program Risk Analysis Board, or PRAB meetings, BOSS will provide invaluable support, helping briefers quickly prepare more thorough analyses and presentations, and helping leaders dynamically explore options in as much detail as needed. The result will be more informed and interactive PRAB discussions leading to better risk management decision-making. Fourth, given access to a program schedule and resource data, BOSS can take its projections of risk emergence and forecast consequences. Combining the Aurora scheduler with its understanding of program tasks, BOSS can identify where serious consequences are likely to follow from what might otherwise seem small slips or lapses. BOSS's visualizations will help PMs understand how things are changing and how those changes ultimately add up to meaningful impacts. For instance, production delay on an early test part might suggest ongoing delays on further test and production parts that will ripple into major schedule disruptions, and losing time on development of one component may have knock-on effects across the program, as lines of effort are often coupled through elements such as software release schedules or testing deadlines. BOSS's consequence analysis will yield better insights into program dynamics and a clearer basis for prioritizing risk mitigation and response efforts which leads naturally to BOSS's ability to explore mitigations and responses. BOSS's scheduling and visualization capabilities allow the system to suggest program changes to address disruptions, 
Boss can explore how sets of mitigations for identified risks may interact to counteract risk consequences previously identified. With BOSS's support, program offices will be more agile, able to introduce more thoroughly vetted program repairs more quickly and thereby keep programs on track with minimal disruption and cost. As I said earlier, the next step for BOSS is to pilot its existing capabilities, ideally at a PMA with a risk-prone subproject that has reasonably good unclassified schedule and resourcing data. We recognize that a PM will likely prefer a limited test that does not affect the main line of their efforts, so we expect a smaller developmental project is likely to provide the best test case. The point is to provide a chance for BOSS to prove its capabilities and to learn from real use where it should be enhanced, while simultaneously helping a real ongoing program succeed. The pilot will help build the case for refining and transitioning BOSS to wider use across the Navy, DOD, and then industry. Today, what we're seeking is partnerships for approving and transitioning BOSS. If you are a representative of a PEO or PM office, we'd love to hear from you about your risk management processes and needs, and we would especially like to hear if you're interested in participating in a BOSS pilot study. We can provide you with tools to help you manage your risks, early access to emerging technology, and an opportunity to influence where that technology goes next. If you're a manager or visionary of acquisitions, digital transformation, we'd love to hear from you about your vision and the Navy's direction. We want to learn more about the Navy's critical gaps and needs in any way as BOSS could fit into the bigger digital transformation picture. We can offer you another avenue to move the Navy forward and to improve its efficiency in stewarding its resources. And finally, if you represent a defense prime like our current NGC partners, we want to hear about your needs, your existing tools, and your tool gaps. We can run trials or pilots with you as well, and we're open to many kinds of partnerships for marketing, development, or distribution. We're prepared to carry out custom integration work to fit in with your existing tool suites and workflows, and we're prepared to work together to open new markets and build new business opportunities based on BOSS technology. No matter who you are, if this talk has interested you, please come talk to me. Find me here at the conference, including Tuesday in booth 537, the Cyber booth, or email me as domashek at stotlerhenke.com and we can set up a time to talk or reach out any time after this conference. And if you know other people who ought to be aware of this work, please point them our way as well. I wanna hear about your program management problems and I want to demonstrate BOSS so we can discuss its fit to your needs. I can also tell you about other technologies and solutions offered by Stoller Henke. I appreciate your time and listening to this talk. With your help, we can move BOSS forward to improve program efficiency and success, to get more capability to the warfighters faster and more reliably, and to make the best use of Navy resources to ensure the nation's defense. Thank you for your interest. I look forward to hearing from you.